everyone welcome to prep bites this is mahati and in this video we're going to go and see a question which is asked in most of the interviews and i can say that it is one of the important question right so what is the question convert to palindrome with minimum number of appends so before going into the question what is the pro problem statement exactly says i want to tell you what is a palindrome is now when i'm talking about a palindrome all i would say is a palindrome is a mirrored image of a string let's just say i just want to take an example of a popular palindrome which is madam right now you can see that my uh first and last letters are same second and second last is same and the middle one obviously it is the common one it depends upon the string length whether it's even or not now but to, now you can see that the first half of the image is the same as the second half of the image second half of the string so that is how this is going to work that is why it is known as a palindrome now what does this question says now so question is saying convert to palindrome with minimum number of appends now let's just say we have a string called prep now appends me appends means adding an element adding characters more characters right so what i'm going to do is if i want to make it a palindrome what i have to do is this is my first element so i have to add a last element this is my second element i have to add a second last element as same as that third element i can add this now this is my palindrome that is how we going to do what we going to do uh, what we did that what we did here we just took the first letter right and added in the last second letter and added in the second last third letter and added in the third last that's what we did now what happens is we can actually solve this for example let's just say i've taken another example called sum if i want to convert it into a palindrome as well what i'm going to do i'm going to go and add the first letter as a last letter second uh, second letter as second last letter third letter as third last letter right which means i am going and taking a string you know reversing it and concatenating with the uh, already existing already existing string so that's how our palindrome actually becomes right but the optimal approach the best approach i can do is you know there is another way to do it let's just say i am going to take the same example called prep right so first what i'll do i'll go and eliminate the character so that i can get a palindrome in the existing number itself so first i'll go i'll uh, i'll eliminate p the first element i can see r e p is written rep is written right now rep is not a palindrome so i'll go forward and i'll remove r as well now e p is not a palindrome again i'll go and i'll go further and remove e which is which gives me sol p which is a palindrome right so this is how we going to go and remove the elements in the given string first now after removing it i can see that i have to add only three elements right if this is my prep i just know that this one is my palindrome only single sole one is a palindrome we just need to check right so now minimum number of appends we are saying minimum minimum that's why we are checking particularly that how many exact characters do i need to actually make it a palindrome right if i want to be checking whether there is an existing palindrome in the given string or not i don't know how many minimum elements or minimum characters actually i want to insert right so that's why i was checking for this whether i have a palindrome in the existing string or not now i got to know that the last element which means i have four characters i have checked all three i was left with only one element which is a palindrome obviously if there is a one element it is a palindrome right so now minimum number of appends i need to do is whatever the elements whatever the characters the number of characters we've removed from the string is actually the number of minimum appends we need to do so i have three here right so i need to do three appends right that's the minimum number of appends so what will i do i'll go and add them as e r p so i'll have p r e p e r p which is a palindrome again right now let's just go and see another example which is grass right if we we'll do this thing the first thing what we did is 
we have just uh, taken the first letter g and the second letter okay and the second letter r and the third letter a then fourth letter s right so this is you can see that there are extra elements all we want is to have a minimum number of appends right so that's why what we're going to do we're going to do the second approach now in the second approach what we have done we just go and start you know traversing through the complete word so what will happen first i'll go for g check i'll remove the g i'll check whether r a s s is a palindrome or not it's not so i'll go further remove r and check whether a s s is is a palindrome or not then i'll remove a and check whether s s is a palindrome or not yes here s s is a palindrome so now we have elements three elements which we have removed to check whether it's a palindrome or not which means i have i have to do three appends so i have to insert three characters more three elements more to make it a palindrome so that is why the second approach is more better or i would say optimal than the first one right now let's just see the code right um, so first condition in which we have we are actually checking for whether the given palindrome is actually a palindrome whether the given string is actually palindrome or not so for checking it we know what we'll do we'll generally compare the first letter and the last letter then the second uh, second letter and the second last letter third letter third la third last letter by checking like this we have given you know whatever the indexes we have through them we'll check we'll traverse through the entire string and we'll find whether it's a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome it's fine but if it's not then we need to actually go and append we need to add right now so now how this is happening just look at it now okay so now how to make a palindrome so what we are doing we are actually traversing through string that's what we have did in grass also what we have done we have compared we have went uh, and we have seen g r a s s was our elements we went further removing one one element from the entire string as soon as we realized that we had an smaller substring which is also a palindrome what we did we just reversed them and we just concatenated the string so that's what we are going to do here you can see that we have taken a for loop in which i'm going to check for traverse through the entire string to just remove the extra characters right to check whether we have a palindrome or not right after that we have just taken another loop where i'm going to print those number uh, print those characters in the reverse order and then we're going to add it to the you know existing word so that's where we're going to get prep along with the erp which makes it a palindrome right i hope you understood the code i hope you understood the logic behind it so if you want the code the link will be you know tagged in the description please do like share and subscribe pepbytes thank you so much